Hi everybody, Dan Ushman here with TrendSpider, and by popular request, I'm making a quick video to show you how some of the uh, aspects of Rob Smith's The Strat system are embedded into TrendSpider and some of the ways you can use TrendSpider to make trading using The Strat strategy uh, easier and faster and more efficient for you. So there's going to be a few things that I go over here. But let's start with the basics. Uh, I'm gonna show you the basic pattern recognition capabilities built into TrendSpider to make spotting patterns from the strat a lot easier for you. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click in the three dots next to the pattern button in the top toolbar, and you're gonna select from the drop-down menu, the strat, um, which uh, it'll then show you a label of a third-party patterns, the strat by Rob Smith. Now, uh, we have a several dozen of Rob's patterns built into TrendSpider. Being a Chicago guy, being from Chicago, I'm going to stick with the 312 down and the 312 up, the Chicago reversal patterns. Now, uh, they're called Chicago because if you don't know, 312 is the area code from Chicago. Um, you know, Rob is from Chicago and uh, you know, small world, so am I. And it turns out that uh, Rob's office is just a few blocks from my home. Um, so when I first came across the Strat, uh, I walked over there and, you know, met up with him and got to know him a little bit and saw him in action. And I was blown away, honestly. Uh, I see a lot of trading strategies. This is, uh, this is one of the most unique, one of the most interesting, and frankly, one of the most high potential that I've come across. So anyways, back to, uh, back to these patterns. Um, you know, I've picked the 312s here. I'm going to click Apply, and you're going to see what the system does. Um, it simply finds whenever a completed 312 reversal pattern, either a 312 up or a 312 down occurs in the chart, and it highlights it for you. So you don't have to uh, squint, right, and look for it. And if you, uh, if you zoom into another chart, let's say Home Depot or anything like that, the minute the chart pulls up, you'll see uh, those patterns are already visible on the chart. Right. And, you know, you can obviously select many, many patterns to look at. I'm only selecting uh, two of them here, but you could easily select, you know, many more if you so choose to. You know, let's uh, add uh, just just uh, for entry, we'll add 322 broadening reversal as well. So we can kind of see where, if any of those exist here. And there is one right here um, at the very top here, which is fascinating because uh, it did reverse down from that point. Um, so that's one of the more obvious and simple ways that you can use the Strat and TrendSpider. Let me show you some of the more interesting and complex ways. So I'm going to turn this off. Actually, you know, I can leave that on. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up uh, the Market Scanner. Now, um, for those of you that don't know, the Market Scanner is exactly what its name implies. It is like a search engine for charts. And it has the ability to search charts for patterns that are made out of any technical data that we have. And very soon, actually, um, I hope I'm not letting the cat out of the bag too soon, but very soon fundamental and analyst data will also be brought into the platform. So um, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna search the Russell 2000 for any chart that has some of Rob's patterns on them. Um, keep it nice and simple. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select a Russell, right, the Russell 2000, and then we're gonna define uh, what we wanna look for. So I'm going to look for, um, given that, you know, it's a, it's a new week. So I'm going to look at, uh, let's look at charts that ended last week, right? Uh, uh, with a, I don't know, let's call it a three, one, two reversal, right? And, um, since there can be, uh, several different types of three, one, two reversals, right? Let's just go ahead and pick them both. We picked the bearish one where it's a three, one, two down. So let's pick the opposite one, 312 up. And what we're gonna do also is we're gonna switch this little drop down menu here at the top from all of the following, because obviously that can't happen, to any of the following. So we're gonna find any chart where the following, uh, one of these two patterns exists on the weekly time frame within the Russell 2000. Now, uh, I'm making this video on a Sunday, right? So the current candle checkbox isn't gonna do much for me. Um, but if it were during a trading week, and I was looking at weekly candles, right, and weekly patterns. You know, if I were trading the strat, I would need those to be in force, right? I, it wouldn't be good enough for me to know that a pattern had completed. I need to know when it's starting to complete, 
right when it's starting to uh, uh, render. So I can jump in there at the right time. So I may not search for a 3 1 2 D, right? If I if this were an active market session, I might search instead for uh, you know a 3 1 and then uh, watch for a break either way using an alert. So I can show you uh, that as well, but let's try this first. So we're gonna hit scan and the system is gonna go out there and right now it is literally downloading all 2000 charts or whatever it is in the Russell 2000. Um, it is then comparing the weekly last three, I guess I selected a uh, volatility expansion. So the last three or four candles to see if one of our patterns exists and it's giving me a watch list of any chart where that exists on the weekly time frame, and I have to switch to, to weekly time frame to see that. Right now, um, obviously, this can get pretty fancy, right? So I can add all kinds of complex patterns in here. Um, I can also, uh, I know Rob will frown upon this, uh, but I could also incorporate, um, you know, uh, uh, stuff indicators uh, like RSIs, right? But the one thing that um, Rob would uh, would would love to see in this, and what I think a lot of traders who use the strat would love to see is the combination of a pattern and full time frame continuity. And the scanner lets you do that, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a couple more time frames just for illustrative purposes. So I'm going to add the daily price close has increased, right? And then also I'm going to add the 65 minute price close has increased, right? Um, so now I'm scanning across three time frames in the Russell 2000, right? I want to find a weekly 312 down reversal where the daily price closes increase and the 65 minute price close has uh, also increased. Um, and by doing this, you can narrow down and you can you can search the market and find a very short list of stocks that have your pattern on them. Now, um, one other scan I want to show you guys, because this is um, honestly one of my favorites, and it's uh, it's so good that we've made it a pre-built scan inside the system. And that's called the Triple Inside Consolidation Spider Scan. And this is super simple. All this looks for is uh, three inside bars in a row. And I like to run this scan on the weekly time frame. Right, and I also like to run it against the Russell, just because it's a big list, or you can check, or pick the, you know, so another big list like the S&P Composite. Um, it doesn't matter, but because we're searching on a weekly chart, and we're looking for three inside bars in a row, we're gonna find some very tight coiling here, right? So this is this is coiling up, right? Each week has been within the range of the previous week, and I mean we can guess which way it's gonna go, but I hate guessing. Right, um, looks like I've actually come across this before. So what we would do here is we would simply pull open this chart or pull open one of these charts, right? Doesn't really matter which one. Zoom down to a smaller time frame. This is a great one. Wow, I'm actually gonna add this to, uh, to my watch list so I can take a look at this one a little later. But um, we're gonna add this to uh, uh, one of our, you know, um, scans, we're gonna find it, pull it up, zoom in on a smaller time frame, and then we can create some alerts, right? And we can say, you know, look, I think this could be bullish over like 40 bucks here, right? And I think this can be bearish if this ascending triangle fails. So what I can do now is I can create two alerts, right? Right click on the top line, create a breakthrough alert, right? I want to know intraday, so I have it go off on the 15 minute time frame and create that alert, right? Um, I'm not sure what's going on there. I must be having some kind of issue, but you get the idea, right? Um, you right click on uh, right click on the candle, and uh, you can create an alert on that can or on that trend line, and you know that's what that alert will look like. We can do that here. I'm not sure why we had an issue earlier doing that, but there you go. And now I don't have to do anything. The system will watch these two lines for me and let me know when a uh, price breaks through one of them, right? Um, and actually, I honestly honestly only care about this chart uh, on, a, on a bullish thing I, i'm not really into trading short too much um, especially in a market like this so i'm going to just create a tighter alert just on that line and leave it at that but this is this is uh, how i actually use this type of scan right um, i use this scan all the time uh, i look for very tight consolidation right i try to find charts where uh you know price is uh getting tight and where i can create a level that might 
indicate the price has reversed and started to move back up and I can create an alert at that level and watch it from there and if I do this enough times during a weekend most of them aren't going to work out but you know I'll get notified when the ones that do do work out and those are uh, a lot of the the trades that I find I find this way so again, uh, this is just some of the ways that you can use Rob's system uh, in TrendSpider. Pattern recognition and scanning are by far the most common. Um, you can obviously use it in other areas too, like the scanner. You can create multi-factor alerts with it. You can backtest uh, uh, the signals and see how they do you know, in the past and so forth. If you have any questions, drop me a note. My email address is dan at trendspider.com. Um, if I can't answer it, you know, if it's about Rob's system, I can put you in touch with him. Uh, but if it's a trendspider question or, you know, a trendspider wish, I'm definitely your guy to talk to. I hope you found this video interesting, and I hope everybody had a great Sunday. And, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed our show today. And, uh, you know, wish you all a great trading week this week. So thank you again, and take care. Bye-bye.